Hey guys, Shane Sorens with DroidMotorX.com. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys an in-depth full review of the Chameleon OS ROM. Now this ROM is currently in beta and it is unofficial on the Galaxy Note 2. However, Beanstown 106 has really done an excellent job of getting this completely ported to our device and I think this is a very stable ROM. The goal with this ROM is really to give you a totally different OS look and feel and I think they've accomplished that with some of the customizations that are included like the theme engine for example which totally changes the entire look and feel of your device. Uh, but anyways we'll go ahead and get started with this ROM review. So you can see that the ROM itself is pretty fast. It flies through the home screens with no lag whatsoever. Uh, the only lag that I really noticed at all was when I pulled down the notification bar. You can see just a minute little bit of lag there but other than that the ROM runs very smooth so I ran a couple of quadrant benchmarks and I averaged out at about 5500 that is not terrible that's more along the lines of what it would run if it were stock uh, as you guys know last week I, I showed you guys the Jedi ROM it was running more like 7500 uh, so this is by far not the fastest ROM that's available Battery life is great on this ROM. As you can see, I've been running it for over three hours and I still have 90% left. I wish that I had taken a screenshot of my battery life yesterday. I was sitting at about 17 hours and still had about 45% left. So this will last you all day. We'll head into settings and check the about phone so you guys can see what software we're working with here. As you can see, it's built on the latest and greatest version of Android 4.2.2, and we're running the Chameleon OS. This is the unofficial version for the Galaxy Note 2. Chameleon OS comes with several custom applications, such as Apollo Music. It comes with its own file manager. Uh, this is the same file manager that you would find in CyanogenMod 10. It comes with DSP Manager. This allows you to change your audio settings. Of course, it comes with a 4.2.2 camera and all the other 4.2.2 uh, Google applications like the Swipe Keyboard, Gmail, and uh, pretty much anything you'd find on 4.2.2. And then the big one here is the permissions management. This allows you to manage the permissions in your applications. Most applications come with a laundry list of permissions that you have to accept in order to install the application. Uh, you can choose which permissions you want to allow or disable uh, for each application, which is pretty awesome. So another big part of the Chameleon OS ROM is the theme manager. You're able to apply themes on the fly. Of course, all the themes are built specifically for this ROM, and you can see how well they're themed from the icons to the status bar. You just get a very complete theme. Of course, you can easily switch back just by going to the theme manager and switching back to the theme that you had before. The Chameleon OS theme manager also allows you to theme each individual part uh, separately so you can actually mix and match themes which is a really neat feature so if you wanted the icons from one theme and the status bar from another or the wallpapers from one and the boot animation for another you're able to do that and then of course it also comes with a section where you can actually download themes there weren't very many chameleon OS themes but my UI themes also work in this theme manager and you'll be able to find thousands of My UI themes throughout the internet, which will give you plenty of theming options. You can theme till your heart's content. Other than that, the customizations become very familiar. Uh, all the CyanogenMod 10 customizations are included in this ROM since it is based on CyanogenMod 10. You'll notice that it comes with the Trey Boucher launcher, which gives us all kinds of different customizations for our launcher. We're able to change the app grid size, we're able to change the persistent Google search bar, and one of my personal favorites, we're able to change the transition effect, and you guys know that I like Cube Out. Of course, there's several other options to choose from with the launcher. It also comes with lock screen options. You have some security settings. You also have slider shortcut settings so that you can add any application to your lock screen. It's very simple. You'll just choose the application you like. Of course, you'll need to remember to hit that save button, which I totally forgot to do right there. You hit the save button, turn the device off, and back on. You'll notice that you have your new applications in your sliders. 
Of course, the themes option will bring you to the theme manager for chaos. If you go to systems, you have several settings there. You can change your status bar. You can choose to show clock, remove clock. You can change the AM, PM style. You can also change the battery status style. Of course, all changes occur on the fly, so no need to reboot the phone or anything like that. You can change your signal style status. And then probably one of the coolest features is the brightness control, which allows you to use your status bar as a brightness slider so you can increase the brightness or decrease the brightness. You also have power menu settings with a full reboot menu. This will allow you to reboot into recovery or download mode or just to reboot the phone altogether. You have LED light settings which allow you to customize the color of the light that turns on whenever a notification comes through. Uh, like for me, I chose red for my Gmail. And then also you can add whatever application you like. Here I just added uh, Facebook and I made the color from the notification blue. Like the app icon is blue. That way I know whenever I see a blue light, that's a Facebook notification. So that's a pretty cool feature as well. You have the same LED light settings for your battery status. And then you have some customizations for the hardware keys. If you enable that, you can change the function of your hardware keys. There are also some pretty neat quick settings panel customizations that I wanted to go through real quick. Uh, with the quick pull down, you can choose which side the quick settings pulls down from. Uh, you can see that I changed from the right side to the left side. And when I pull down my status bar on the left side, now my quick settings come up. If I pull down on the right side, my actual status bar comes up. Uh, so that's a really neat feature. If you turn it off altogether, you can just use your two fingers to swipe down the status bar. Of course, you can add and remove custom quick settings, tiles, and there are several other options in the quick settings panel. There were a few other small additional settings that I didn't notice in this ROM. If you go to display, you can change the rotation. and It actually has 180 degree rotation. You can enable the volume, rocker, wake. And then there were some advanced settings as well. Lots of different things to choose from for the advanced settings. You can also access your super user options and your permission management settings from the settings menu. Chameleon OS does come with its very own boot animation. It also comes with its own wallpaper app, which will give you lots and lots of wallpapers with tons and tons of saturated color, if that's your thing. Or you can go with a no wallpaper, which will just give you a black background. Uh, then also notice that there are some home screen settings. You can change your home screens around. Uh, you can add and remove home screens as many as you like. So now that we've covered everything, let's go ahead and install the ROM. You'll want to reboot into recovery. Clockwork Mod Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project will work for this install. Once we're in recovery, everything is pretty simple from there. You'll run through your wipes. You'll wipe factory. You'll wipe cache. And you'll wipe Dalvik Cache. Next, you'll go to Install, and you'll look for the COS ROM. It is unofficial. Just make sure that's what you're flashing, and then swipe to Flash. You'll go back and choose the G apps. I'll have links to both of those in the description just below the Like button. Once everything's installed, you'll go ahead and reboot the system. So anyways, guys, that has been the Chameleon OS ROM. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Big shout outs to the Chaos team for developing this ROM and also to Beanstown 106 for getting it ported to the Galaxy Note 2. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage on this device and several other devices that are coming. You can find me at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.